Welcome to this QuickBooks Online Chart of Accounts tutorial. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University, and I want to walk you through how to use your chart of accounts in QuickBooks Online. Okay, now the first thing that uh, I want to show you is when you click the gear icon, you can get to your chart of accounts by clicking here, chart of accounts. Okay. Now the chart of accounts, if you're unfamiliar with it, is, is really, really important in QuickBooks and accounting in general, because these are all the accounts where you're going to post or record your transactions. Okay. So whether it's an invoice you send to a customer, it's a check, it's a debit card transaction, uh, an expense, whatever it is, it has to go into one of these accounts. All right. Now, QuickBooks Online will set up a default chart of accounts for you, but in your business, you're going to have to adjust it. You're going to have to add accounts. You can make accounts inactive. Uh, you're going to have to essentially customize it to your business. Okay. And it's, it's not difficult to do, and you don't have to do it all in the very beginning when you set up your QuickBooks Online file. Okay. Uh, you typically, I tell clients, you can add these accounts over time as they come up, but what you do want to be careful with is, uh, to make as little as main accounts. These are main accounts right here, and these are sub accounts. Okay. So you want to have as few main accounts as possible, but then you can have, you can put details of different accounts in the sub accounts. Okay. So you can think about the main accounts as sort of the broad category and the sub accounts as the detail. All right. Because I see far too often where people will make an account, just a main account for everything. And then when they go to print a profit and loss or a balance sheet, it ends up being four pages long and you just can't read it. Okay. It's just too cumbersome. All right. So you want to be able to ideally fit your profit and loss on one page. That's uh, perfect. Uh, and that's collapse. So if you collapse all of your sub accounts into the main accounts, have it at one page, but then put all the detail in, in the sub accounts. And let me show you as an example here, job materials. That's a broad uh, main, uh, it's a sub account under landscaping services, but it's a broad category. And then, uh, the sub accounts are the details. Okay. And as you can see here, you can have a main account, a sub account, and then a sub sub account, if you want to call it that. Okay. We also have the same thing under automobile. Uh, you could also have multiple expenses under automobile, like, you know, maintenance, uh, oil changes, uh, tires, you know, whatever the case may be. And so you'll see down here again, they, uh, this sample file have made good use of the sub accounts. Okay. All right. So, uh, numbering, a lot of people ask about account numbering and if you need to number your chart of accounts, uh, my general rule of thumb is if you are a relatively small business, you do not need account numbers. Okay. A lot of times account numbers come into play when you start to have, uh, you know, somebody in an accounting department, it could be an AP person, an AR person, and maybe a controller, and you're posting things to account numbers. Uh, but in general, for a small business, you don't need account numbers. Now, of course, you can have them, but you don't need them. So let me show you up here under the gear icon, account and settings. As it pulls this up, if we go to the advanced tab you're going to see here chart of accounts all right you've got a couple of options here you can enable account numbers all right i'm not going to go into all the detail about you know there are certain uh, account numbers there's a methodology in accounting that you're going to uh, use for certain types of accounts um, i'm not going to go into all that detail but you can turn this on and off here and you can show the account numbers all right i'm going to leave that off we're going to cancel that. All right. So let me go back to the chart of accounts. I want to show you in QuickBooks online. Uh, if you need to add an account, all right. So all you're going to do is click new and you're going to choose the account type. Okay. So these are the broad categories of accounts type account types. Uh, you can see here all the different ones. Okay. So let's just assume we're going to set up a new, uh, bank account, or actually I'll tell you what, 
I want to add an expense account, okay, because that's kind of typical. All right, so the detail type, all right, this is not as important, but you want to choose a broad category of what this uh, what this is. Okay, we're going to uh, add a sub account for an automobile expense. Okay, so the name it's going to default to that detail type. We're going to call this maintenance. Okay, you can put in a description if you want to. You don't need to. All right, you'll see the stars. You, you've got to put in that detail. All right, so we're going to make this a sub account of automobile expenses. All right, let me find it here. Here it is right here. All right, so we can either save and close or you can save and new if you're going to add another one. And like I said, on the front end, when you're setting up your QuickBooks file, you don't need to go through and figure out all the accounts that you're going to be adding. You'll do this over time. Uh, that's quite all right. Okay, so now you'll see down here we created this sub account called maintenance. All right, so it's a sub account under automobile. And the same thing applies if you need to add just a main account. Let me add a bank account. Okay, so the bank it's a it's a account type is a bank account. We're going to make this a checking. I like to name my checking. Let's say Bank of America checking and I like to put the last four digits of the account number next to the bank account uh, because uh, if you have multiple bank accounts I follow profit first and so I have multiple bank accounts and so I will either name this Bank of America checking uh, or Bank of America if I have a separate operating account and then the account number 0934 uh, the description I leave that blank and I don't make this a sub account. Okay. All right. So I want to save and close. All right. Bank of America operating 0934. All right. Now, if you need to go in and edit this account, okay, you can go in, click edit that drop down, you click edit. Now I do get uh, people that ask, how do I put in the beginning balance if I'm just starting this out? So if we say I can put in the balance there as of 220, 2019, I hit save and close. Okay. And we'll see Bank of America operating QuickBooks balance $1,000. There is no bank balance because I have not set up the bank feed for this. Okay. All right. So now if you want to, you'll see the options here in your chart of accounts. All right. You can view the register. You can connect the bank, edit, make an active or run report. Okay. So connect bank is the bank feed edit. We just did a second ago. You can edit the account details, make it inactive or run report. Okay. QuickBooks online does not necessarily let you delete an, an account, but you can make it inactive. All right. So if we say here, I want to go and pick one. Let's say that uncategorized asset. Okay. That's kind of a strange account. We want to make that inactive. Okay. So it says, are you sure you want to inactivate this? We say yes. Okay, you can't delete this account because it's part of the online banking feature. Okay, so you'll see here it uses different terminology, delete and make inactive, but some of them it won't let you make inactive. And the reason is in this one is because a lot of times in the bank feeds, it uses uncategorized asset as an account. So some of the default accounts that are set up, you cannot make inactive. So if I go to, let's go down to the automobile expense, let's say maintenance, we say, you know what, we don't need that account. Uh, we can make that inactive. Okay, we click yes. And so now it does not show up on our chart of accounts. All right. So let me just show you if you need to see the chart, you know, the inactive account, you can click the gear icon here and say include inactive. All right. So now if we go down to automobile expense, you'll see it says deleted next to it. Okay, again, this whole inactive and deleted terminology is a bit confusing, but that'll give you an idea then of which ones are inactive. And you can click this again, make it active, and now it's going to show the automobile expense. Okay, so these are the basics of the QuickBooks Online chart of accounts. Uh, if you have any questions, any comments, feel free to leave them below. Head over to the QuickBooks University and join me over there as a member. When you purchase the tutorials, you get support. I answer your personal questions uh, a few different ways that you get access to when you become a member. 
head on over there now, qbuniversity.org.